All right, so it's not looking too good for Tom Segura. He recently had a meltdown on Twitter, or X, I guess it is now, but I'm just going to keep calling Twitter. So Tom had a Karen moment at an airport because he had to have his bag checked in at the gate, and then he went to Twitter and just started going off on the person who made him check it in. And some people in the comments were telling him he was being a little dramatic, so then he started going off on poor people. I mean, this was wild. This dude's ego is out of control. You know, he's probably already pissed. He's flying with American Airlines and he wasn't flying private and he had to be around a bunch of poors, as he calls them. And then one of the poors who works for the airline had the audacity to tell him he had to gate check his bag because there wasn't enough room in the overhead containers and he couldn't fit it under his seat and he just snapped. And I guarantee his thought process was, why should I have to check in my bag? I'm rich and famous. I'm flying in first class and I should be flying private. Why don't they make some poor person do this? And he probably figured the lady at American Airlines should know better. She should know not to ask him to check in his bag. So this is what he said on Twitter. Dumb con from American Air made me gate check my bag so she feels the little power she has in her life. I get it, you win this round. And he should have just ended it there, but instead he started responding to like all the comments and there were a bunch of people telling him he sounds entitled and he sounds like he's out of touch. And of course, these are pores to him, so that really set him off. And then he said, all the pores and losers have the same response. Oh, you're inconvenienced? Well, you should accept it. That's what me and my dumb poor family have done for generations. This is why you're poor. But it's like, dude, you did accept it. Your bag got checked in. You let that happen. And now you think you're doing something about it by arguing with a bunch of pores on Twitter. I mean, he really lets these people get to him. It's crazy. If you remember, he also had a similar moment to this earlier this year when people were commenting that they're sick of hearing him talk about watches and private jets and stuff. And he went on this rant during his podcast. And I think he believes he's doing some kind of Andrew Tate thing. Like, especially with that tweet I just read, that sounded exactly like something Andrew Tate would say. But at least he can be somewhat funny when he's saying this stuff. But whenever Tom tries to do this kind of thing it's just not funny at all because I don't think he's trying to be funny I think he's being serious and he's actually just really pissed off and if he is trying to be funny then it's a bad sign that this man is supposed to be a comedian so don't put it on me that you feel bad that I have something that oh but I, I'm struggling with rent this month figure it the f out okay like don't make my life be a problem for your life if you don't like it guess what you're not going to be able to control what people talk about People are going to talk about things that you don't have for the rest of your f***ing life. So you can decide like, okay, I won't, li fine, don't listen to me, don't listen to that person anymore. But you have to control your own feelings, okay? It's not on other people to make sure they don't talk about a topic. Just know that it's your mindset and you're thinking like a f***ing loser, but you don't have to. You don't. You can change the way you think, but you have to accept the way you're thinking right now is not going to get you anywhere. You're being bitter, you're being petty, you're insecure, you're not confident. And it's a bad sign that this is one of the top comedy podcasts. And like the title of this post says, Tom loses 20 pounds and he thinks he's the second coming of Christ. And also, where would this guy's career be without Joe Rogan? I mean, he acts like, oh, I just put in all the hard work and that's how I became really successful, which I'm sure he worked hard. But obviously, a massive part of it is him becoming friends with Joe Rogan. And he got extremely lucky with that. But I think these recent meltdowns from Tom have shown he's hit his peak and it's only downhill from here. You know, things are not heading in a good direction for him. And I feel like this is what comedians used to fear, becoming out of touch and not being relatable anymore to their audience. But Tom is clearly clearly not worried about that and it's like he's trying to do a speed run and become out of touch as quickly as possible like god forbid he has to fly commercial and check in a bag at the gate doesn't this lady know who he is doesn't this lady know he's friends with joe rogan he deserves better than this and in his initial tweet he tagged american airlines so they pretty much had to respond and i don't know what he really expected here i don't know what he wanted them to say maybe he wanted to get that lady fired or something but he was not happy with their response. They said, we know you're no rookie, Tom, and you know how to pack a bag. We're sorry for the hassle today. And then Tom's response to this was wild. He said, this is a psychological tactic that well-trained people across all business use because it's effective. They empathize with customers' emotions. Typically, people feel seen and heard and immediately calm down after this acknowledgement. I still wish awful things on that gay agent. 
I think they should give that gay agent a raise. I mean, this is amazing what she's accomplished here. Like, this guy is losing his mind because of this. I mean, he spent hours on Twitter just responding to people and then making all these stupid tweets that just made things even worse. And I'm sure Joe Rogan gave him a call to tell him this because Rogan's always telling these people not to read comments and not to pay attention to that kind of stuff. And this is just a bad look for Tom. I mean, the man is imploding here. This is so bad, people had a hard time believing it was even real. People are like, all right, is that actually his Twitter? Twitter account. I can't imagine he said this, but I mean, he did. And I know some people say, oh, he's joking around here. I don't understand how he's joking around. I mean, he's clearly really upset about this. He tagged American Airlines. He's responding to them. He's responding to all these comments and he's pissed off. Like also he put out this other tweet responding to all the people telling him to take it easy. He said, the lowest level pours get upset as they've been trained to do. When you point out they're happy to do what I'm told, servant mentality. They don't value time because their time is worthless. You are specks of shit on a washcloth and washcloths belong in the trash. And I like how he says they don't value time because their time is worthless. Meanwhile, he's spending hours on Twitter arguing with random people, getting nowhere, just making a fool out of himself. Wait, if he thinks he's above these people and he's so important, doesn't he have better things to be doing than arguing with them? I mean, it sounds like he doesn't value his time and he gets triggered very easily by these people. I mean, a checked bag led to all this. And you know, for what people usually have to deal with at airports when they're traveling, I'd say this is just a minor inconvenience. And Tom let it ruin his day, possibly his week. I mean, this man is going through it. And it'll be interesting to see if he addresses this on his podcast at all. And if he does, I'll probably cover it. So make sure you subscribe for that. And then leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon account. It's funny, I just posted a video last week about how Tom's getting out of touch and then this happens. So if you want to stay updated on this stuff, make sure you check it out. I think there's about 40 exclusive videos on there at this point and I post a new video every week that's about 20, 30 minutes. So if you're interested in that at all, I'll put a link in the description and then make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you at the next video. You're broke! You're fucking poor!